Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a very beautiful energy in a relationship reading. There is an energy here of celebrating a union. There could be a reunion happening here, but there's an energy of coming together with someone you love and achieving some sort of relationship goal, a milestone. And there's just this energy of things feeling like they're on the right track, like they're moving in a positive direction. Um, there's an energy of go taking things to the next level. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, Water Energy, the Two of Wands, Fire Energy, and we have the Emperor Aries energy. So there is an energy here of someone who's thinking about the future of this connection, the next steps of the connection. They're planning where this connection is going. There's an energy of wanting to move forward. We also have the Emperor, which is also a number four, and we have the Four of Wands. So there's definitely stability here that's happening for this connection. Something is becoming more structured, more defined. Um, and this person is loyal to you. This person is committed to you. This person is, they're planted here with that Emperor energy. There's an energy of someone who's, who's all in. They're in it to win it. And even if the going gets tough, this person won't give up. There's a strong energy on their side. There's also an energy of wanting to take the lead um, there's also that energy of wanting to take things to the next level um, someone here feels like this connection is ready to move forward the queen of, of cups does show an energy of there being um, you know a lot of emotional uh, attraction as well so there is a, a connection here there's a lot of empathy compassion between two people here and it's mutually felt there's also an energy here of um with that Queen of Pentacles, you know, I mean, the Queen of Cups, there's that energy of, um, you know, emotional fulfillments, but also a forgiving, kind energy, compassionate energy, empathetic energy. And there's also somewhat of a spiritual connection. So let's clarify these cards, um, Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So there is, again, it's like someone is really committed to you. This person wants to work on this connection. And with that four, that um, Two of Wands, there's an energy of wanting to travel together or to make plans. Um, this can even be travel in terms of taking things to the next level, but there is an energy of wanting to make plans and to work on it, to really put in practical energy, efforts, time, and dedication. This person, you have their commitment, they're, they're loyal to you. So let's see. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, the Page of Cups, Water Energy, and the World Card, Fixed Sign Energy. So there is that energy again. It's like this person wants to wrap up one phase and take things to a new phase. The Page of Cups is also a very fresh energy. It's wanting, looking at you through the eyes of love, feeling hopeful about this connection, also feeling very romantic. And it's like they, they feel quite optimistic that this connection can really make it. Um, this person may also feel quite protective over this connection. They feel like it's up to them to, you know, to take on that responsibility and they, they're willing to do that there's this energy of wanting to take pride in making this connection work 
wanting to really i'm seeing someone who's in their divine masculine energy regardless of their gender but this person they don't see this connection as a burden they see it as something they want to nurture they want to keep showing up for consistently um you know it's it's something they choose for this connection they feel like their heart is in this you're a wish fulfillment for this person because you also have that 11 11 energy but this person ultimately is looking to achieve stability with you Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. Okay, so the card says a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. So something is about to begin for this connection and it looks like a goal is being achieved because the world card also shows completion but in the sense of um, you know almost like graduating and you're reaping some sort of rewards at the end of you know some sort of a striving period um, or there's just this energy of success that surrounds this connection and there's some sort of a win or a victory that is happening for this connection and with that Aries energy it's like something is about to begin okay so I'm gonna put another card for you Aries Okay, so the card says reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life okay so we had the four of wands so this can be a reunion um, but this can also be an energy of you know coming together as a unit and um, you know moving forward together as a, a team you know as a partnership uh, but this person is very motivated towards you. This person, they are very, um, they very much want to put their best foot forward when it comes to this connection and to you. Because with the Eight of Pentacles, this can also show a bit of perfectionist type of energy. It's like this person really wants this to work out and they want to shoulder that responsibility of making that happen. It's like they, they want you to be able to rely on them. They want you to, you know, feel supported by them. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Aries. Okay, so the card says, Honeysuckle, Domestic Happiness and Devoted Affection. I will wind thee in my arms, so doth the wood bind, the honeysuckle gently in twist. Okay, so we have the four of wands and we have this domestic happiness energy. This person is really um, going to be quite affectionate with you. They do see you as someone they want to have a family with or a happy home life with, whatever that is to you. But there's an energy of someone who wants to really um, be there for you they want to show up in this it's almost like a domesticated energy but there's an energy of someone who wants to be in a in a, in a relationship a partnership with you and they want to you know take on that responsibility and um, they do see you as the kind of person they want to commit to you. this this can be someone who's even seeing you as marriage material um, you know relationship material you're the kind you're, you're the one they want to give it to they want to give um, their affection to their efforts their affection their loyalty okay so that's what i'm seeing for you um aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries